So you've played some bum notes. <laughs> Nobody laughed at your joke. Yesterday you got paid, now you're broke. Give it up, but you're still smoking. I, I, I may fall off my groove with my timing. Lose my footing while I'm didn't think much of my rhyming Look here, I'm still smiling Cause I know You may have to try a few times Before you get it right You may have to try a few times Before you get it right You may have to start With a small spark You may have to start With a small spark You got to understand Things don't always go to plan the trick is to accept it as a did and just keep a working on it, working on it, working on it, working on it. Keep a working on it. You can build it up. I keep a working on it with your love.
Johnny's by the avenue. Sorry, boys. It's lined with trees that promise to protect the few. She brought him home, her only son. His name is here, but not his run. Sorry, I've been looking down here, but um, it's my acting training, right? One, two. Hello, everyone, and isn't it fantastic to see you all here on our 27th episode? You are with Bros Papalado, and this is The Kitchen Sessions, and thank you so much for being with me. I don't know if you saw at the beginning of this show this amazing uh, array of petals which I will uh, move into and probably step on as we, as we proceed because that will really make some band members upset. And that's what I'm all about tonight. Uh, <laughs> but before we go any further, I would sincerely like to acknowledge the country upon which we work, live on and create on. We acknowledge that this country will always belong to the tradi traditional owners. It always was and always will be. And we pay our respects to those elders past, present and future. So 27 weeks and as we were getting warmed up for the show and we were listening to the songs that were being presented during the holding slide. We took us back through a bit of a memory lane. 27 weeks, we started this show on the 14th of March. Uh, the second song that you heard during the sl holding slide was Me, and that was in my friend's kitchen. There was chocolate cake all over the walls, there were balloons, and there was uh, Mick not understanding what was happening. And then the next show was the weekend after, I don't even know what that date was, but certainly by that time we had Sam Gibb, we stole him from the airport from New Zealand and Sam Gibbs still doesn't know, he professes to say he doesn't know what he's doing, but he does. And then about six weeks after that or five weeks after that, we stole Karen Engel, poor thing. Here she is. She's here um, writing down things that I say and chasing me around. So thank you for coming on this journey. But tonight, it's interesting because tonight we are all in very different places. We are all in very different places. I am here. I am here, right here. You can touch me. Touch me. I want to feel your body. <laughs> I didn't write that down. I didn't script that. <laughs> that was mixed hand. Uh, Karen Engel is backstage in a locally produced production at Cairns Performing Arts Centre called Prospect Terrace. And if you live in Cairns, I would recommend that you grab a ticket and get down to the theatre tomorrow, which is Sunday, to pay your respects to a fantastic local playwright in Angela Murphy, uh, who's doing it. She's producing her own work, and that is a very difficult thing to do. Sam is backstage on a, on a Naomi Price show in the final night of her much-celebrated uh, performance Lady Beetle at the Brisbane Powerhouse. Mick is here. Mick is here. She, he is holding the four. It's just me and Mick right now. And Sam and Karen have done their jobs. And uh, it just goes to show that our industry is coming back strong. All facets of the industry. Backstage. The creatives. The writing. We are all here. And the people on stage. We're all making it. We're all doing it now. And you really, really can't stop us. And hopefully you out there, a wonderful audience, you are taking this all in too and you are following the rules, which I'm really, really trying to change. <laughs> I really want you to be able to dance. Sorry, I just wanted to dance. Uh, uh, so that's why we are still here. 
That's why I refuse to let go of this project until we are at back at full capacities. Our venues are back at full capacities and we can dance. And the Footloose myth is no longer with us. Unless that guy, who is that guy in Footloose? What's his name? Kevin Bacon wants to ask me out on a date. It's call me. It's call me. Anyway, doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What was that? Sorry, Mick. He's probably 65, but that's a good age. Uh, back to our um, – so we are here until we are back to our uh, 100% capacity and we can dance and we can mingle and we can hug and we can touch because that's what we do in the arts. We commune. We commune and we make magic happen. So – I cannot wait and the team cannot wait to introduce you to the diverse array of arts and culture from the north that we have in store for you tonight. Every week now or every second week for the last few months, we have introduced you to a diverse new artist and this week is no exception. Swamp Donkey, these guys play Swamp Noise Rock. Now, that is the truth. It's going to rock your ears off your heads. So just go with the flow, turn it up, grab a beer. You've got to drink beer. To the, or maybe a vo- not a vodka, that's to uh, a bourbon. Grab a beer or a bourbon. Mick's got one. He's happy. Uh, these guys are from Cairns. They have 40 toes between them and almost as many fingers. So I'm going to count them in a moment. And, you know, this is a line in the sand. It's a statement because, as I said, I'm proud that we can present such an array of amazing artists from soul to reggae to country to singer-songwriter to jazz to solo artists to rock to punk and to swamp. We here in Cairns and in the arts, we are a diverse community. Everyone has a voice no matter where you are, no matter what you say or what you do. And it helps that these guys, swamp donkeys, have the best guitars and the amps, the best amps in the business. Check it out. You're with me? You're with me? I don't even know what this is. This has got an S on it. S for Superman. Excellent. That's very nice. It's a very, very nice colour. This one, it's a Fender Jaguar. I'll get out of the way. And a Fender Jaguar. And I was telling a story about how my dad, when he was a young man of 20, uh, he was living on a cane farm with his father in Silkwood, far north Queensland, and he went out to buy a ute with some money that he had. He went to town to buy a ute to drive around in. However, he came home with a receipt for a Fender Jaguar, and uh, that caused lots of mayhem and friction in the family. So the, 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 the question is, if you're going out to buy a car, probably do it. Don't buy a guitar unless you're Ros, and then just do it. Uh, and then we've got other this, – this Behringer here that's bigger than me, uh, kind of, I think – and I could probably sleep in it tonight after one too many bourbons. And if you were to look very closely at this wonderful instrument here, there'll be lots of lovely tattoos and things going on there, so you're going to love it. This is like a feast for the ears and the eyes. So that is Swamp Donkey. We're going to love those guys. And for the pop-in tonight, the visual arts pop-in, we are representing a little shop of local and Australian-made goodness. This shop, Make and Whoopi, represents artists, crafters and makers from FNQ and all over Australia. It's perfect for you shoppers who don't want ordinary or run-of-the-mill products. You want something special, handmade. And you know it's only nine weeks to Christmas. That's, that's what I heard tonight. Is that right? Is it only nine weeks to Christmas? Holy tomatoes. So do yourselves a favour, Cairns. Get on down to Make and Whoopi, Shield Street, and, uh, Shield Street 58, Shield Street to be exact, and get something special for that someone special. Or you know what, just, just buy something for yourself. You deserve it. It's been nine months of mayhem. Just grab something. And, of course, for our cook-up tonight, we're heading out to Lester's, Lester Vale. You met him last or a couple of weeks ago. He's the keyboard player for Mal Power's incredible band and he has jumped in and opened a cafe, Freshies Island Foods in Earlville, to serve you the largest bur- burgers known to mankind. And so COVID kilos, they're not going anywhere. They're greasy and they are made with love, all the love. And, of course, Frank D'Angelico, he's coming in. I don't know. He's driving around. He's trying to find the right wine for this event and it's going to be great because I'm going to put it in my mouth. Anyway, stay tuned. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen but donate if you can donate because I, even though I've just said we're all back and we're all working, you, I also said that our capacities in our venues aren't back yet. So this beautiful venue here, it's uh, usually 200 capacity and it's something like 40 capacity. So this is the reality. So please donate because you are supporting the entire arts industry. Check out those empty seats. That's right. That's right. That's right. And we're going to clean them all when we leave. Every single one of them. Karen? 
<laughs> so if you just tuned in, you're with Roz Papalado and this is a Kitchen Sessions. And right now I'm going to introduce Swamp Donkey to the stage, everyone. Give him a round of applause, everyone out there. Yeah, come on, here we come. They are going to pick up their instruments. Yep, they're coming in. Just let's see them come on in. We've got Ollie on the drums. He's waving. We've got Scott there with the Fender Jaguar with the little story that I told you. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit more. Of course, we've got Justin over here with the Rickenbacker. Very nice. And Joel over here with the Superman guitar. We'll, we'll <laughs> Superman. So, hey, team, who do, I, who do I start the conversation with? Because, you know, that's what we do here. We have a little conversation. Who wants to... Okay, I'm coming over here. I'm over here, everyone. Have you got me? Over here. Justin. Ross. you got to talk into your microphone, buddy. That's right. Okay. <laughs> it's been a while. It's been a Thank while you. since we've played, so it's hard to, it's hard to remember the, the skill of talking into microphones, but we'll get there. <laughs> we'll get there. So who began this project, which we now know as Swamp Donkey? Uh, good question. It kind of morphed out of one band yep. and then became another after Ollie and I had been working together for a while. Yep. Uh, we played a bunch of Cure covers oh, for one right. gig. So that's kind of where it started. Yeah, and then Scotty came on board because he's a Cure tragic as well. And then eventually we got asked Joel if he'd be interested in coming on board because he let, had left Meat Bikini. Oh, and Meat Bikini. Very famous. Yeah. And uh, we'd been playing under a bunch of different names yep. as a, a three-piece for a while. Okay. Like uh, Birthday Suit and uh, Tectonic and there's a whole bunch of stuff for about a year. And one of them was Swamp Donkey. And then Joel, we came on board and we said, which one, Joel? And he said, Swamp Donkey. That's, that's what it the, is. And that's the name of the band. And, and Joel, how long ago was that? Um, with yeah, you got yep. to talk into the uh, microphone. Here, I'm over here now. Yeah, I'm if like, I had to guess, I reckon it's probably 2012, maybe. 2012. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I don't even remember 2012. So, so you came from another band. This is this is the beauty of bands in this region. I think in every region, we all sort of just meld and communicate and make stuff happen. Yeah. So why this style of music for you? Um. Well, we all love uh, the more uh, alternative stuff like, well, speaking of Swamp, Swamp Donkey, Kim yeah. Salmon, he invented oh, yes. Swampy Grunge music. Yep. Yep. So we're all Kim Salmon fans. Yep. And um, if we weren't playing this type of music, we'd be a little depressed. So <laughs> We've got enough to be depressed about, don't we? Absolutely. Well, let's not, let's not be there. Scott, what have you, tell me about this wonderful guitar here because I told you my story of my, uh, my guitar. So how long have oh. you been playing? You've got to speak into this. This, uh, this is a contraption yeah. called a microphone. I know it's been a long time. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, the mid-90s, I started with a, um, a band. Uh, it used to be Grafton Arts. Oh, and, the Grafton uh, yeah, Arts. The, the old Grafton Arts. Um, yeah, on, yeah, well, Grafton Street. And, um, yeah, and, uh, yeah, I, mi I kind of miss those days. And, mm. uh, and um, yeah, I, I kind of wish that, uh, you know, something similar would happen you know, in the in the future sometime, but uh, well, I suppose... Um, you got some time I'm, I'm on your very, hands? I'm very grateful for what you guys are doing. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. That's, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Thank you. That's very nice of you. Uh, and who is the main songwriter in this outfit, before I move on to Ollie? Who's, or do you all kind of write we all, together? We all, we all take our, yeah, we all have our turns. Have our moments? Yeah, have our moments, yes. Oh, fantastic. Great. And Ollie over here? Ollie, you have to. We have to. We're in a bubble, so we're back in the the, the drums now, everyone. So hey, say good day, Ollie. Hi, Roz, and everyone. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hey, mum. Hey, mum. Hey, mum. So tell us about this drum kit here. It's bloody fantastic. It's gorgeous. I wish you could see it the way I could see it. It's just. It's like a cartoon script. Uh, so this kit I bought when me and Justin uh, first started our cover band. Um, it's very old. Uh, probably from the 90s, I'd say. Not very old, but anyway, it was falling apart. Uh, I cleaned it up and started to uh, layer some stuff on it uh, from uh, CD covers of mine, uh, artwork from comics and tattoos, and it just sort of became a project for two years. And I finished it just recently, and now I've, I can get to play it. Well, that is fantastic, a two-year project, and now you get to play it for... Uh for one of the first times, I suspect. Is that correct? One of the first times? Uh, first time for about four years, yeah. yeah. I love having...
having premieres. Did I tell you that? Premieres are the best. So we're premiering the new drum kit. So everyone, if you uh, if you do, uh, you're, this is this is going to be something really special and something kind of really loud and something different for everything that perhaps and lots of things that we've done at the kitchen sessions over the last 27 weeks. But when you turn 27, you got to kind of throw it out there. You got to kind of lay the cards on the table and you got to just have some fun. I'm really excited to uh, introduce to you Cairns legends and locals, Swamp Donkey. Go for it, boys. Remember, kids don't join the 27 Club. Let's just be cool. Talk to your mum and dad. Talk to your best friends. Talk. Uh, that one was called Muscle Memory. Um, we just recorded that for um, the upcoming Pandemonium uh, Records release uh, in March. So look out for that. Awesome uh, compilation that Todd McAlpine's put together. Uh, this one's called Rotunda.
What's it about, Joel? Uh, I prefer not to say, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Go digging on the internet, nerds.
haven't done any exercise in nine months. You know months. what's cool I, about this, Ross? No, what, what, what? This is like uh, an episode of The Young Ones. <laughs> and we're actually the band that gets to perform in the kitchen. <laughs> and I have to say, that's rad. You are, and I, you know what, I'd like you to do a, uh, it'd be great if you'd like to host one night, Justin. Would you like to host? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Oh, I tell you, and that's what live music is all about. That's what live music is all about. Step it's getting up. hot, it's getting sweaty, it's dancing and falling off the stairs. That's what it's all about. That was freaking amazing. And please donate if you can. If you love these guys, these guys have played once in nine, in, well, they played once, they played a month ago at a beautiful little bar in town called Elixir. But uh, apart from that, they really haven't played. And that's the first time you've seen this beautiful drum kit out, these gorgeous guitars, so fantastic. I am so hyped. And this is what music does to you. It makes you hyped and happy. <sighs> so that was a, an acting tip. Settle in. Each week, everyone out there, we invite our, a local visual artist to show us around their studios. And we, they give us a peek into what what makes them tick and their ongoing projects. But this week we're doing something a little different. I'm absolutely sure that Fanny, Kirsty, and Tracy are artists. Now, one of you guys is married to these people here. What twist? You're not married to all three of them, are you? No, well, that's a little too much. That would be a whole new TV show. You wouldn't. <laughs> I already did. Like, <laughs> that would be a whole new, but you're married to Fanny, right? Yes, I am. Yeah, fantastic. So, is Fanny an artist? Yes, she is. She's an artist? Yep. Of course she is. So we're going we're gonna to see her in a moment. Yep. We're going to see Fanny and Kirsty. I'm not sure we're going to see Tracy, but if we do, hello, they're going to show us around their locally stocked shop, Make and Whoopi on Shield Street in Cairns. It's full of local artists' work, and it's an absolute treat to walk around their shop with them. You know what? I've just spent 150 bucks. So, hi, girls. <laughs> So hi girls, Hello. welcome to the kitchen session. <laughs> oh, so who have we got you. here? Kirsty and Fanny. <laughs> and where are we? Making Whoopi gift shop. Yes. Whereabouts are we though in Cairns? 58 yeah. Shield Street, Cairns. Smack bang in the middle. No, we both have an arts background and we love buying handmade products. So uh, working in the arts industry for a while. and, and That's where we met, Yeah, in a, in a shop. In we the were, gift shop at the art gallery. Yeah. Justin, my husband, moved to Cairns to work there, uh, and then I was running the shop there and ended up employing I Fanny a as job. a casual. Yeah. <laughs> I was her boss. Yeah, <laughs> you were. Um, and we discovered that we are like spookily alike yeah. and yeah. did heaps of the same we're stuff. We were born on the same year. We no. were traveling in the same country, the living same in the time. same place at the same time, and didn't know. We wow. studied the same stuff. Yeah. My mum, her dad, same birthday. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like just weird stuff we kept discovering. And then we also discovered that we both really wanted to do the same thing. Oh, we, I was passionate about handmade and jewellery accessories and discovered there was loads of talent in cans and they didn't really have a proper outlet to sell their stuff. So. Not enough outlets, I suppose, yeah. for, the, for the number of people that were producing cool stuff. Um, so we decided to bite the bullet and have a go ourselves. Yeah. And how long ago was that? The this this first, meeting and then the, the discovery. The first pop up was in for Christmas 2015 at Kika, mm -hmm. and we've probably yeah. known each other for eight eight years. Have you been in Cairns? 2010, so ten. Well, ten years. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's super cool. Yeah, yeah. and five almost five years in this shop. It's coming up to five years in March. Yeah. So that's crazy. But yeah. It doesn't, doesn't feel like it. It feels like yesterday. <laughs> but so much happened since we've been here. Like yeah. the retail world has been all over the place. Yeah. 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 We have had to as we've sort of evolved. Um, early on we would just wanted everything, you know. 
Um, we've had to sort of decide what the look of the shop is, what we want it to look like, what um, products sit well together. And obviously it's got to be things that we love, that we're passionate about because we've got to sell it. Um, and that's it, we came to know what customers we mm. have and what they ask for. Mm. We've been around long enough now that we know what our following is. And so who are they? We've actually got a very broad demographic, um, but we have we can't sell anything boring, basically. No. It's all got to be colourful and quirky. Every time we try and get something a little bit more grown, grown up, up or neutral. It just or... doesn't work. <laughs> so <laughs> it's all people us, yeah. like us, really. Yeah. Um, but ages, like from school students right through to mm -hmm. people in their 60s and 70s. And you know? how do people yeah. find out about this beautiful... A lot of it in Cairns we found, and this was even way back when we were working at the galleries, is word of mouth. Mm. Um, Cairns is great for that, mm. just spreading the word and locals supporting each other and that sort of thing. Instagram's been Instagram's good. pretty uh, amazing. It's very local. We're probably always, we think, between 70 and 80% local, I'd mm -hmm. say. Yeah. Um, and then there's people from literally every state, really, um, if we can get them. And lots, lots of Queensland, lots of fun All of Queensland. Australian small businesses that we deal with, mm. yeah. Yes. Well, we like to find people that evolve, that mm. keep bringing new design, mm -hmm. that are always impressing us, sort of thing, yeah. Trying new things yeah. and expanding their range and their skills. Um, they also obviously have to be shop standard products. They have to be packaged or presented well because there's obviously a lot of competition within the shop as well so their products have got to be able to stand out amongst everything else and look nice and polished and professional i suppose yeah find some of them through suppliers we've already got yeah um some people approach us we approach people instagram, instagram is probably <laughs> the best like we come across it separately but our suppliers tell us about people that they know mm. like some of, of our suppliers will go to big affair like down in they used to in Melbourne like find us keepers and then they tell us about new mm -hmm. makers and mm -hmm. we feel like that's our job to show mm -hmm. the new designs and the new makers to our local community yeah it's to, bringing things yeah. to cans that people see on social media yeah. and that sort of thing never in a shop and yeah. actually get to see it in the flesh mm -hmm. and, and buy it and touch it and feel it and yeah awful, awful and very strange like it, eerie is the perfect word yeah like, we've never experienced anything especially like it in, in the middle yeah. of the year you yeah. know when it should be absolutely pumping there should be people everywhere uh, to go virtually a whole day and not even see anybody walk past the door and all just, of the other shops were closed like the normal mm, restaurants it's a ghost town it was yeah. so because you didn't close no, no even no. though other shops around yeah. you, closed. Some, you weren't directed to close we didn't have to close um some of us chose to stay open, others decided to close. Um, we decided to use the time to get a lot of work done that we've been wanting to get done for a long time and thought, well, we may as we well were leave the doors open while we're very reluctant around. to put it online because it, it, it didn't feel like it was going to work. It's, it felt like too much work, but then we just had time. That's all we had. And <laughs> so it's, it it could was, not. And now we realise it was really worth it. Yeah. And, well, while certain things don't sell online mm -hmm. because they are, it's, you know, very that tactile element where photos and things aren't doing justice. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of the packaged items and the well-known names that are selling online. Mm -hmm. But that's still like through, through that really quiet period of COVID, we, we went from having no sales yeah. to having multiple sales in a day or a week. Because of the online pivot. Yeah. Yeah. It just. And that That's little bit so of money much. trickling in, that turnover, that just kept us going um, and, and made the online shop worthwhile. Like yeah. even paying for it mm. was becoming worthwhile mm. sort of thing. So, mm. yeah, we're, we're glad we did it. Yeah. Mm. It's hard work, but yeah. it's worth it in mm. the end. Yeah. Always something. Yeah. We've yeah. got lots of ideas. Mm. Uh, well, we started our Maker's Market. Mm -hmm. That was two Christmases ago. And unfortunately, COVID put a stop to that this year as well. We had two really amazing events planned um, that we had to cancel. But we're just about to do one of them. At um, Bailey. At Bailey yeah. on the 5th of December. See you there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> sure. But I would say that's something we definitely want to kick off again as soon as we're allowed to. And that was something we had planned oh, for. We had we... really big names. It was the biggest lineup we've ever had. Like, that's 
what I would like to aim for. Then yeah, you know, we, we want to keep getting well-known people, bigger names from outside of Cairns to come up here and see it as mm. a, a great destination to come to for, you know, really supportive people buying yeah. handmade. Mm. Show them that it's worthwhile coming up to Little Regional Cairns. Mm. It's not just all about Melbourne, Sydney, Brisbane. Um, so that would be the closest one to go to a big market like that. It would yeah. be Brisbane. It's way too far. And and the, the, we've done three events so far and they've been ridiculously massive well, successful like, to me like I, I was so happy with that we yeah. well our first one for example we were we were like oh, if we get 200 people we'll be so excited i'll be awesome yeah. and then as it got closer we were like maybe 300 people and on the day we we couldn't even count it was yeah. way over a thousand people we were exhausted yeah. <laughs> delirious and that just blew yeah. our minds and they maintained that sort of mm. level even in quieter times of year like christmas you kind of expect a big crowd mm. so i think cairns people they showed want. us that, that they want it yeah. so now that's something we can keep working on yeah. and building and um see where we can go keep bringing really cool and stuff our to workshops Cairns. we're doing well as well so you deliver workshops yeah well, what is that all about our makers mm -hmm. in the region to come in and teach what they do or so you open the projects. shop yeah we move all the furniture to the side we sit up in the middle there put some tunes mm -hmm. food and and people can away. purchase a ticket yeah. to learn the yep. craft yep. yes online exactly. we yeah. try to do um we try to do things that are for any skill level basically and for our age group I yeah. suppose and that you can finish in an afternoon yes. and yeah. take home pretty so, chilled yeah. and relaxed nothing too stressful so we teach some ourselves as Great. well they're really yeah. crafty ones but then we get people like Kate Hunter the silversmith she comes in and does some earring workshops mm -hmm. um, yeah. that we have to just keep doing over and over mm -hmm. again yes. kokodamas and planty things at Christmas, we've done some really nice, like floral wreaths with local flor uh, florists and macrame. Yeah, a bit of all <laughs> sorts. Well, I would, fast. I love it. I would recommend everyone there watching the kitchen sessions to come on down to Fifty Eight Shield Street to Make and Whoopie because there is something here for everyone. Treasures. Yes. <laughs> something here for everyone, and you can meet the lovely girls, Fanny and yes. Kirsty. Yes, would love to meet you all. Yes. <laughs> So thanks to everybody who does shop with us yes. already and yeah. we hope that this brings a few more of you down who've maybe heard of us and not been yet or never heard of us yeah and you can come to the market as well put that on your agenda and remember yeah. to shop eat drink yeah. local please yeah. especially through christmas yeah there's so many amazing businesses in our city yeah. and we come on shield all street you. we're all there for you yeah, yeah. <laughs> we'll be here yay <laughs> thanks girls <laughs> bye, bye. bye. <laughs>
Thanks, guys. Thanks, Thanks Shan. crew. Um, Thanks, everyone out there in TV land. This one's another uh, Scottish McStottish vocals. This one's called uh, Talisker's Lament. Oh. Change your face. <laughs> One song. Oh, okay. Um, did you want to do puppetry the penis while we perform? Um, I can play the bass. I've got skills. You can hold. Hey, you, you go for it. You can hold. Oh, hang on. Is Have it, you washed your hands? Do you know uh, this is a Rickenbacker? You're just about to do a wee. What are you worrying about washing I've your totally hands? washed my hands. I've washed my, I've washed my hands a lot. Do you really need Wash to do a wee? No, no. Okay, great, great. Well, we're going to continue. <laughs> He's going to have another drink. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, He's, just, he's a it. Frenchman, just ignore him. Uh, what's next? Uh, this song's called Flagstrom's Finest. Frankie. Uh.
Would you just, would you just give these guys a hit? My God, don't you just feel like you've gone back to university and it's just you're dancing and you're sweating and your ears are ringing. I love it. Please donate if you can because these guys, these guys are legends in this town and these guys are making some, the man, I nearly swore it would have been very bad had I, had I sworn. Um, we're not going to do that. We're not going to swear right now. What we're going to do is we're going <sighs> to take a moment. We're going to take a moment. We're going to take a... Well, that's all right. We don't want to be pulled off the interwebs. We're going to go to the cook-up. We're going to go to Lester, Lester Vale. Lester from Freshies, Freshies Island Foods. Freshie, Freshies Islands Foods. There's so many S's. It's very difficult. Lucky I don't have a lisp. Lester is one of the gentlest and hardest working people you will ever meet. You met him here a couple of weeks ago. He was playing keys right there with Mal Power. Food made and served with love, with the biggest portions, doing the impossible and starting a shop as COVID leaves us. That takes guts, hope, love and effort. Hi, Lester. <laughs> Hi, I'm Donna. I'm Janae. I'm Lester, and you're at Freshies in Stockland's Herbal. For us, business, um, I mean, we've run many things, but uh, one of the soul things in our family is our soul food. So for us, uh, food is a connection to the heart, the stomach, the brain, <laughs> the big carbs. <laughs> and, and you know, it's, being Samoan, we or being Pacific Islanders, we just love eating the enjoyment of being able to celebrate our food with everybody. For us, you know, sitting at a table with a lot of food is something that we all grew up with. You know, from um, as far as I remember, most of us Polynesians, um, every Sunday we all went to church and the, we all look forward to the big feasts at the end of, of, of the service. And it become like a, a ritual, mm -hmm. and, and it's passed on from my gen my parents' generation to me to my own children. And these guys are cooking everything that was passed down the line. So on Sundays we have something called Soul Food Sundays. So on Sundays usually 
Highlanders finish church and stuff, so they come to Freshies and instead of cooking for themselves, they choose to come here and we do everything big. So all we do is like uh, chop suey, uh, the salmon steroids, or we call it taro. <laughs> and we also have other island packs and uh, where we come from, we have, we sell everything big. So everything's in this white foam mm. supper packs and when it comes with like like I said, chopped soy, chicken, flaps, and chow mein. We also have a, a dish called raw fish, oka. What's that? So, so oka is basically like salad to us, I would say, yeah. like a refreshing side dish. So yeah, it's it's really refreshing. It's so nice and yeah. So we, we support local butchers. Yep. Um, so the meats are from the butchers. Most of their other um, our vegetables and that are from our local market, so we like supporting our local markets for their taro for and, and vegetables. Um, coconut cream, because we were born in Samoa, we were westernised in New Zealand. <laughs> the white man showed us, wow, you can get coconut in a can. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have to work as hard. Yeah, don't so that tree. That's it. Now I understand why most of our men have left the country. Mm. Since they can the coconut, it's made the job a whole lot easier for us. Yeah, right. I think one of the things that we introduced um, in our menu was we had um, the grilling range. One, you know, I think for most people who know Polynesians, which include wines, um, the New Zealand Marys, they call it hangi. In Samoan, we call it umu, um, which is food that uh, is grilled from under the ground. But you know, because we can't um, do those um, those normal packs and that, so we introduced our grilling range. And our grilling range is everything from lamb ribs. So when you think Hawaiian mm. and the way they grill, if you've ever been to Hawaii, they grill. It's, it's, it's almost an American culture now. Um, we do the same here. Things like the Hawaiian loco moco, um, you know, everything you can imagine grilled, we grill. Um, you know, we've invented, you know, burgers with the names of, of, of what we call, you know, with our cultural names. And so it, it's like we branded the same way as McDonald's did. McDonald's had Mac this, Mac that, yeah. Mac this. And so we did the same thing, but to, a, to an island range. Yeah. And so we, you know, invented a 17 stack burger. We've got ones bigger. So, um, so we have 17, right up to 21 stack burgers. That is insane. Yeah. Do people insane. actually finish them? Well, oh, we've had bloggers come yeah. in and um, the love, critics love come in yeah. and they said the reason why, even though it's such a big burger, they said it's so filling, but they could still eat because mm. they said the difference is, you know, fresh food yeah. when you're still hungry. And yeah. That was that was the thing with, with the bloggers with our with our food. They they said man, they love the fact that when we were going fully fresh. Well, it's fully fresh. It's not processed. It's not full of preservatives and. Yeah. We refused to cook that way, I think, because we weren't brought up that way. You know, like, I think we had this conversation with We, as islanders, knew about organic food before we, were, we even came to countries like this. You mm. know, our parents were raised up living off their land, living mm. off, you know, of our own soil. Mm. And I think that through generations have passed that knowledge down to us. So, you know, so we still cook the same way. So, from Monday to Friday, we'll open from 11 to 9. 11 a.m. till 9 p.m. And on the weekends, Fantastic. 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. So every day of the week? Every day of the week. So you don't have a break? We don't have a break. You don't even have a break on Sunday to go to church? No, we cook for them. You cook, you <laughs> cook for them. Well, that, that's, that's, that's a blessing. That's an absolute blessing. So we're going to take a little look around your kitchen and your and your menu now. But thank you so much for having us here on a Sunday, one of your busiest days by the sounds of things. I <laughs> yes. think they're all going to come down soon. Thanks for being on the Kitchen Sessions team. We love you. Bye. Thanks, Ross. Bye. See you.
Well, well, here we are. We are. We are thank you, Lester. Thank you for uh, giving us that wonderful treat. And uh, get on down there to get the biggest burger you've ever seen. Thank you so much. But while we're here, and we had a little bit of a little bit of a baby's head situation going on here. I'm not quite sure what that is, symbolizes, but you know, make it up. You guys are all, you know, you guys are all critical thinkers. I do want to talk about the guitar. There seems to be a bit of a guitar fest going on around me, and I'm a bit of a guitar woman. I've got like eight guitars at home as well. I've got a telly, I've got a jag, I've got a baby something junior, something blues junior, I've got um, a couple of acoustics. So What's the thing with the guitars here, guys? Tell me about this guitar. This is not a Superman guitar. This is something else, everyone. This is... Yeah, this, there's a great bloke in Melbourne called John Sharp who made this guitar. If yeah. you want a guitar, go to John Sharp. It's, he just he makes all your dreams come true. Really? All your dreams? All your dreams. Yeah. All guitar related. Oh, okay, okay. So, uh, this is a... This, so, he made this for you. Yeah, yeah, this is a custom... pickups. Hand wound and the pickups. P90 hand wound pickups. Yeah, beautiful. Like I said I, I love Jaguars, I love Telecasters, mm -hmm. I love Jazz Masters. Yep. Can you can you hear him? And uh, I love Neil Young, and I can't play guitar, and he made this <laughs> for me. <laughs> well, it is a beautiful thing, and it is just your own. It's your own. Yeah. It's got this sort of Jaguar thing going on here. This is also quite Jaguar esque, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it, you know, it's got that kind of telly kind of sound when you yeah. kind of when you kind of wind it up. Yeah. See, I know guitars, dude. Yeah, hey, I know guitars. So I want to talk about the Ricky over here. What have we got? This is, if you, uh, if you, this is a, a quite a strutty instrument. Yes, it is. You're going to talk into that. Yes, yes it is yes, a strutty is. instrument. So tell us about this instrument. Well, there's, is this normal? Can you uh, see this? No, dong, I've dong, taken dong, the, dong, um, dong, 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 dong. I've taken the, the plate, like the plate off. Yep. Pretty much. Usually it's for a hand rest, but it just gets in the way and usually cuts me. So oh, you don't want to cut. No. This, is, this is a 4003. Yep. So this is um, the post-4001 period. It's beautiful. Lemmy, God of all gods. Beautiful. And played a 4001 series all the way through. How old is this thing? Uh, this thing, hang on, this is about 19 years old. About 19. And I picked this up in Japan on a visit a couple of years yeah. ago. Oh, it's beautiful. So when I was over there, like Japan is the guitar country. It is. You can find anything you want over there. So it well, was, it was either this or a um, another guitar. So yeah. Well, I got this. Got one. Yeah, this is my uh, midlife crisis. <laughs> we all need a midlife crisis. It's red and it goes fast. It really does, and it's dong 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 dong. So we've got a jag over here. Uh, this is lovely. It says jags go. <laughs> I totally know guitars. Don't you think I know guitars? I can sing guitar. So uh, this this is how old is this instrument? Because as I was saying, my jag is forty something hundred years old. But this what? Beat that, Scotty. Beat it. Beat it. Go on. What? Tell us the story of your jag. We are talking to this thing. It's a rare one. It's been one. a while. It's rare because it's gold. <laughs> it's ninety-two. It's ninety-two. Yeah, yeah, and it's gold. olive gold, or is it just... You've got to talk into the yeah, microphone. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> These yeah, no, bands have forgotten. 92. This is how much they need your help. They need donations because they've forgotten how to talk into microphones. It's, it's difficult. And, and it's... Tell uh, me uh, more. We, Tell I me bought more. it from Melbourne, <laughs> and um, it's, it's beautiful. the best guitar that I've had How many since. guitars do you have? Um, just two. Just two? Twelve. <laughs> <laughs> An acoustic, but... Um, no, 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 but... I'm, this one's my favourite. But, um, oh, it's but, nice. Uh, it, what Joel was mentioning before about John Chubb, like uh, when I had it, it was like it still played really nice. But yeah. when, when I took it to him. Oh, you took it to John Chubb. Superman. to Melbourne. Yep. Um, and, yeah, you weave magic and, and um, it Here basically it feels like a brand new guitar. Everyone out there, when you're a guitar lover, you are a guitar lover. It becomes an obsession and you spend your money on guitars and fixing guitars rather than houses and pools and cars. That's why I drive a crappy car that people are embarrassed to see me in because I spend my money on guitars. Hey. That's it. I spend my money on guitars. Money well spent. And that's why I'm a virgin Australia flyer and I have 65 kilos so I can take 15 guitars exactly. with me wherever I go. Well, four. I was wondering where that sentence was going to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got a couple of songs and then we've got wine time. So, uh, I'm going to hand it back over to you guys because um, I'm, I've, I've shown you my fangirlness. <laughs> Swamp Donkey. Thanks. This song's called Groundhog, I think. 
Yeah, it's about that Bill Murray movie, Scrooged. <laughs> That's more applause we've got in one night than we have in seven years. I'm just kidding. Thank you, Lara. Uh, this song is a very old song. It's called Pox. Um, me and Scotty started, but because we're uh, illiterate musically, Ollie's going to tap us in.
tune heads all the same. Crops of strange produce chase me away. So donate because these guys are rocking and if they're making you feel as good as they're making me feel, they, they deserve a couple of bucks. That's all I can say. They deserve a couple of bucks. Guys, why don't you go and take a little bit of a break, sit in the audience, sit in the audience over there and then we'll call you back for a wine in a minute because I think we've got a little bit of wine time. What do you got? You've got something special. I've got something special, Liz. Oh, you do? I do. Oh, hang on, we have, we're not on. Yeah, you can. I'm doing a little bit of country. Yeah, keep that. Ready. Where are we starting? I don't know. Okay. All right, let's go to Mick. I found Frank. Butter, 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 butter. What? I can't hear anymore. <laughs> Great job, guys. That was me playing the bass. Butter, 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 butter. Oh, speak up. <laughs> just, I feel like it's 1984 and I'm back at uni. You are back I'm at just, uni. Yeah, I, Did I, we I, fail? I, Did we I, get through? I, I just regret not having stopped at the servo to get a packet of Winnie Reds to stick in my in my sleeve here. <laughs> and a nice tattoo just, back uh, here. Just to relive 
You could do it. Uh, no, you could yeah, do it. I might just yeah, get a quick tat on the way out, I oh, think. Oh, Frank. It's, um, how, it's, how, how are you? Isn't it funny how we're all speaking like, like this? Speaking like a rody. <laughs> We need a box to push around. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> dunga, 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 dunga. <laughs> Where else in Cairns can you celebrate diversity? A couple of weeks ago, we were yeah. swaying my to my island, island home. home. My, and here we are. And tonight, we're rocking the house. Oh. Like, it's, uh, like, uh, like, wow. Isn't that where funny? Else can, where, 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 where else in Cairns can... Where else but Where else but Cairns? Can That's a T-shirt right there. Diversity. Where else but Cairns? Like this. Like this. Amazing. Oh, wow. wow. Well, it's funny because you should say that because you just drove down from Mossman I after did. a singing lesson. I did. In an yeah. opera situation. It's a, it, it's a fair contrast, I will it's say. fair about, contrast. About 45 minutes ago, I was doing um, a, a, an 18th century <laughs> Italian opera operetta piece. <laughs> and then I walked in the door here and just went, oh, and his what, ears are bleeding. But look, that's a new, that's a new, that's it, that's, doesn't work, don't worry about it. Isn't that life? Wouldn't it be boring if we're all the same and just listen to the same music, like diversity? We've got to change and it up. Speaking of diversity, Ros Papua, what have you got? done it again. I've done it again. What you've have I done? You've done it again, right. You best tell me what I, I've I'm done. Gonna, I'm going to hide this for a second. Because what have I, I done? I just want to say, I, I'm, I'm just going to, I just want to say thank you to the amazing people of Cairns. Um, yes. Firstly, starting here in this building. To all of you for what you've done for the last yes. 27 weeks. 27 yes. weeks. Enormous thanks to all of you. And I just want to say to a thank you to the amazing people of Cairns because one of the great things to come out of COVID, and, and there's been lots and lots of, of, of challenging things and lots of great things, is the, the level of support of local business. Yeah. Now, I've, I've been plugging my business for a long time. Um, uh, uh, since we started this, and uh, plug, 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 yes, I'm locally owned, locally operated, we employ local people and all of that. But what's happened is, is as venues have reopened is the level of support that, that local businesses have got from local people is actually really, really humbling and just it's phenomenal. Astounding. It is astounding. You, you drive down the street in Cairns it's or you go incredible. to one of the beaches and it, yeah. everything's packed. All the cafes yeah. are packed. The restaurants absolutely. are packed. The beaches are packed. Absolutely. You know, and yeah. it's, 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 it's absolutely people want to spend locally, experience locally, and it's one of the, one of the treasures, oh, really. It's, it's one of the treasures. It's just been phenomenal. I, yeah. I walked around last weekend and, and there were so many venues, all COVID safe, of course, yeah, all following their plan. Yeah. Not like um, us. But, like, they just... Family, we're family. Family. Rose is my sister, by the way. But, um, but, but the level, like I said, just, just how, me, how much people are supporting local business, and the benefit of that, it, it, the ripple effect of that, is just enormous. You and know, it's going to stay with us. Like, yeah, it will stay. And you know, I walked into Noah the other day, and he was, he was somebody that had performed here, playing a gig. You oh, know, is that and right? I was like, wow, there's gigs. It's again. a small you know, world. Like, and we've been lucky because we've 27 weeks of, of listening to amazing music. Haven't thanks we? Thanks to all of you. Yeah. But um, yeah, I just really want to say thank you, Cairns, because you're supporting our business, you're supporting local local music, you're supporting so many people that are, are involved in. Um, I mean, just I'm talking more specifically about my business, but you know, the ripple which effect is wine. of that is which is wine and hospitality, yeah. but. The ripple effect of that is cleaners and rubbish removal and laundries and all of that sort of stuff. Front of house so stuff, much. bar stuff, so security. Thank you, thank Mwah. you, thank you, thank you beautiful Mwah. people cans for what you're doing and keep doing it and I'll keep providing really good What booze. have you got here? Well, Rosie, what have you got? as always, I'm glad you asked. It's okay. a white wine. So this, pre, this, pre, this seems, yeah. um, seems appropriate for tonight. What is because it? Because it's it's got the word broken in it, and I'm, <laughs> I'm listening to this music, and I, I just feel that stuff's going to break. You know, like my so ears are broken. <laughs> this <laughs> is uh, the Darrenberg Broken Fish Plate Sauvignon mm. Blanc from Ad Adelaide oh, Hills. Nice. Now we featured Darrenberg before, very old family winery, been making wine oh, for yeah. about 115 years, and they've got some tremendous names like the Hermit Crab and the Olive Grove and the. Uh, the uh, vociferate dipsomaniac and the dead arm shiraz and all that sort of stuff. But this is called the broken fish plate. Uh, shut up, Frank. Pour the, pour the wine. I'm ready. Um, <laughs> um, this is called the broken fish plate because one of the harvests that, that they use, um, oh, I love it. the vineyard that this is on is on quite a significant slope. And when they get to the bottom part of it, um, um, there's a, a part of the harvester called. You can always see the the true rock and roll dogs. Van's getting on stage. It doesn't matter what the booze is, there's booze. So here, help help yourself. I'll, help I'll yourself. Plugging away. There's glass um, there. Uh, yeah, just pour it in there. Adelaide um, Hills, keep going. Adelaide Hills. Broken fish so plate. So when they get to the bottom bit of the vineyard, there's a, there's a significant slope, and there's a part of the harvester called a fish plate, which keeps it moving. And because the slope is so is so dramatic, 
often they'll whack it and it'll, it breaks the fish plate on the harvester. Hence the name, the broken fish plate vineyard. Mate, you are full of extraordinary stories. I was wondering what you were going to say. No, 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 no. Keep it clean. Keep it clean. You are full of extraordinary stories. And Frank, you know, we should be writing books. We should be writing. We should be doing documentaries. I we may, should be. Oh, I should have brought a book with me. I could have mentioned a book. <laughs> of course you could have. You could do anything. It had wine in it. It's so not bad. So let's, let's have That's a little good. bit of a taste. Salud, everyone. Salud, everyone. Rock on. Rock on. Rock on. Rock on. Cheers, 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 cheers. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. See, see, see. Here we go. One, I think, two. I think we should have some Swamp Donkey tasting notes about the wine. Please, feel free. Oh, nice. Is that you can speak into the mic. We need some Swamp Donkey oh. tasting notes. Just oh, the off only, the bat. The only thing that I know about wine is when I used to buy um, Goon back <laughs> when I was like, you know, a teenager at um, for graft and arts, and I used to. This is the kind of show we're doing. Stash it in the fig tree next to the library. Fantastic. That's all I know about wine. Sorry. Fantastic. Well, but if you'd like to meet, it's me got in alcohol in it. Well, it's I'm better than pretend, that. I'm not going to pretend to be a connoisseur because it's quite I'm not. nice. It's like a, yeah. got a little bit. It's Justin? a little acidic. Guess your fist. It, but it gives it that kind of zest. It's zest. And it's very refreshing. Are you talking about the goons Scotty had oh, in the tree? Or? <laughs> Justin, do you want to swap jobs? I'll take the Rick and Backer and you can have what's left in the box. No, you're not, taking, you're not taking my midlife crisis away from me. <laughs> We're all in it, midlife crisis. It's crisis. still really nice, Frank. Oh, it's really you. nice. I'm just going to say, if you want to relive Delicious. that goon in the fig tree, just meet me outside after the show and I can take you back in time. I'm your man. <laughs> it's, it's probably it's, still there. It's also somewhat Germanic. It's it Germanic. Is just a touch Germanic. So it's Australian Sauvignon Blanc. So different to New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, very upfront, very in your face. Australian Sauvignon Blanc tends to be a little bit more restrained, lovely acid, as as mm. my, as my like learned good. friend Justin just mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately, as our friend Chris said at, at the show, it brings smiles. You know, it's yum. Just, just you want to drink and you want to smile. You know, if 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 it doesn't make you smile, we we miss the point, and that's what. Wine's all about. It's wine great is company, all about great company, smiles. bringing smiles, great music, whether rock it be music. whether it be rock or swamp or swamp reggae or, or whatever. It's fantastic. It's and that. if you want to grab this company. man and great company, and look honestly, Christmas is coming. You need a box of something. Definitely. You need Remember, a box of something. Delivered to your door. Delivered to your door. And give in us fact. A call. You'll get Here's me as one well. We prepared earlier. You'll get me as well because if he delivers a box to your door, I'll just sit on the veranda. Rosie's never far behind. And I'll drink half the bottle with you, and we'll just yak. A, a cheers. Anyway, that's Salud, us. Salute everyone. Salute everybody. Bloody good morning, da, 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 da. So who said Swamp Rockers don't like a little bit of classy white wine? So they do, they do, and it's been just an absolute treat to have these guys, these local legends, on our on our stage tonight. So um, I'm really excited to hear the last two songs you've got for us. What have you got? You got some? What have you got going on here for us, Scott? What have you? Got? Um, I think that we have uh, Soft Jaw and oh and. Nana's Chook Wrangling, which is about an, o an old lady who um, kidnaps bushwalkers and feeds them to her chickens. I just, I, just think, I just think that you guys are fantastic. So can we find you on the internet? Can we find you on Bandcamp? Can we, Joel, yeah, if, if where do we find you, darling? Any, uh, missing Persons blog spots for hikers. Missing uh, Persons uh, blog spots. Wrangling will come yep, up there. That's right. Uh, we've got um, swampdonkey.bandcamp.com. Yep. Or is it bandcamp.com slash oh, donkey. They'll find you. Can we find you on Spotify or uh, YouTube? No, I refuse to participate in Spotify. Fair enough. Uh, yeah. A bunch of exploitive creeps. Oh, well. Uh, we are on Facebook. Fair enough. Swamp Donkey Cans. You can find us on... <laughs> i got like 100 records underneath my desk, so if you want to buy one... Please buy one. Please buy one. Yeah, yeah. How do the, how do people buy an apps? How do how do people uh, buy go, a physical go to record? Camp. I thought you yeah. just meant general records. No, I no, no, no. <laughs> They're Swamp Donkey records. So Can they? Do they drive to your house and give you fifteen or twenty five dollars cash? Uh, or? It's, it's twenty bucks. A twenty bucks. Twenty bucks um, is nothing. So we did two hundred. Yep. And uh, we hand silk yeah, screened. Yeah, hand screen printed. Yeah. Oh. Screen printed the covers. Uh, That's the whole beautiful. Band ourselves. Yep. We did the whole thing DIY because we're big believers in DIY. Absolutely, and that's the art form. That's yeah. the art form. So we'd love for that to happen. And if you're driving past uh, Justin's house, 
20 yeah. bucks is nothing. That's not even two drinks and nowadays. And what's your address at your house, Justin? <laughs> 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 well, if you if you just happen to walk down uh, somewhere in Manunda. Manunda. Yeah, you can see all the rats. Doing this. If you see a man <laughs> screaming in his underpants, you're, you're nearby. <laughs> well, this has it's been me. Swamp Donkey. Aren't they the funniest guys you've ever met? And in a couple of weeks, I'm hoping that Justin's going to take over the hosting duties and I can just sit in the audience and have some fun. Anyway, we've got two more songs as with these guys. Frank brings that amazing it's pretty amazing. Here's Swamp Donkey with two more songs and donate now. Please donate because these guys, they deserve it. They're funny. They're funny. They're funny. <laughs> Thank you. This is our last song. It's called... Yeah. Ooh. I think this is your last song, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it just went so quickly. Oh, my God. Everyone thanks out there... Thanks for having us. Oh, oh, my God, thanks for coming in. And please donate if you can because it means so much to the artists. It means so much to the arts. It means so much to Cairns. It means so much to the regional, the regions. And uh, these guys are just absolutely a, a cut above. And they're great people. And they do all of their work thanks, DIY. Charles. And it's just been uh, fantastic to have you here. So thank you so much, guys. No, no, thank you. Thank you. And uh, please donate if you can and enjoy the last song because these guys get up, turn it up loud, turn it up and dance, dance, dance. Get up off your couch. You know, you can bob your head and tap your feet at home. I'm looking at you, Simon. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you, crew, Karen, Sam, and Mike. Sorry. We're available for bar mitzvahs <laughs> and circumcisions. Honestly, I think if I'm deaf, it's not my fault. And I don't, that was absolutely blindingly so surprised. <laughs> I don't know what to say. That was fantastic. Everyone, give these amazing humans an absolute round of applause. What a show. A show from start to finish. These people put on a show and these guys are swamp donkey. December 12th, Cape York Hotel. Is that right? Cape York Hotel. Well, I'm going to be there uh, as front row and centre dancing oh, my... We're also playing at Four Seasons Total Landscaping in a couple of weeks. Too. Four Seasons Total Landscaping. Excellent. <laughs> well, they're going to singe the grass off the ground. That's all I can say. It has been an absolute pleasure having you guys here. I've got my little, my little trolley with the baby head, of course, and all the things. So... Everyone, it is close to Christmas. If you can donate, it has been absolutely an absolute pleasure to have these people here. Come on, guys. Snook in behind me. Snook in behind me. I'd like to thank Swamp Donkey. Donate now if you can. Justin Bishop, Ollie Van Balagoyen, Joel Goodman, Scott Blackford, of course, Make and Whoopi. We've got Fanny, Kirsty, and Tracy from Make and Whoopi. Get on down there for your Christmas gear. Lester Vale of Freshies Islands Food. Frank D'Angelico. Come up here, Frank D'Angelico from the wine tradition. He's loving it. Come on, baby. Yeah, he's got the. He's got a whole thing. We've got a, we've got a pop plant. We've got it's all going on here. We would like to thank the Rondo and the entire committee because let me tell you, they have never had anything like this in their venue ever before. The walls could speak. It would be speaking, speaking, speaking. Thank you to Sam Gibb, my God, Mick Allen. Oh, my God, Karen Engel. You three are just beyond, beyond, beyond the pale and three of my family right now. Thank you to Paul Barton and Kristen Copson, of course, to Jasmine Penny, of course, to Jan Ed, of course, to Beck Keller. You guys are always there every single week to support, support, support. We work hard to bring this crazy hour and a half to you every second week. And all of you who donate and all of you who watch, we love you and we mean it. My name is Ros Papalada. You have been watching the Kitchen Sessions live from the Rondo Theatre Cans. We'll see you in a fortnight. I don't know who's playing. I'll work it out. Same channel right here with I don't know. Thanks, everyone. Don't forget us, Artisan Credits. We love you. Same time next week. Good night.